straight from the heart. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Celebrity Jeopardy! Entering the studio are today's celebrity contestants. She's Dr. Carrie Weaver, attending physician on the top-rated TV drama ER, Laura Ennis. A Tony Award winner who now plays Martin Crane on the Emmy-winning sitcom Frasier, John Mahoney. world-famous coloratura soprano and chairman of the board of Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts, Miss Beverly Sims. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jeopardy, or should I say, welcome to the new home of Jeopardy. In redesigning our set the way we have, we have kept you, the viewer, very much in our thoughts because we wanted you to feel as you sat at home and played along against our contestants that you were in the warmth, the comfort, and security of your very own den, albeit a very large and expensive den. We hope you uh, like the change. We're also very excited today because of the presence of these three special guests. As you know, this is our annual Jeopardy! exercise in courage as <laughs> celebrities from different fields of entertainment put their egos on the line as they try to win a lot of money for their favorite charities. So Laura, John, and Beverly, we're delighted to welcome you today. Good luck. Let's play Jeopardy! <laughs> Beverly, you get to make the first selection in this round, and you select from these categories. I hope you like them. Let's visit Liechtenstein. There's a winner. <laughs> Celebrity Astrology, The Elements, 1996 Olympic gold medalists, The Female of the Species, and finally, The A-List. Notice that A is in quotation marks, and that means that each correct response will begin with that letter of the alphabet. Beverly, where do we start? Can I go home now? No. <laughs> <laughs> the A-List for 100. All right. Please. Without these, there'd be no guacamole. Laura. What are avocados? That's it. You select. The A-List for 200. This largest artery carries blood away from the heart. Laura, again. What is the aorta? Yes. A-list for 300. Founded in 1848, it's the oldest and largest U.S. news agency. Beverly. What is the APS? No. Laura. What is the APA? No. John. What is the API? No. <laughs> Can we go around again? You are all adding a vowel too many. Oh, what, what is the is Associated the Press? Yes. Oh. Laura, you select again. A list for 400, please. It's been defined as the high cost of leaving. The A in this case is alimony. Laura, pick again. A, uh, a list for 500, please. Term for one who studies and collects state of the art stereo equipment. John. What is an audiophile? That's it for $500. You're on the board with 200 on the plus side. Select. I don't know what it means, but let's visit Liechtenstein. To visit Liechtenstein, you have to go to this continent. John. What is Europe? Right. Uh, Liechtenstein for 200. In 1984, women in Liechtenstein were given the right to do this nationally for the first time. Beverly? What is the right to vote? Yes. Uh, Liechtenstein for $300. We have to be frank in telling you this alpine country runs Liechtenstein's postal system. John? What is France? No. Laura? What is Switzerland? Switzerland, yes. Not a bad guess, John. Laura, pick again. Liechtenstein for 400, please. The answer there is the Daily Double. You're the only one with money at the moment, Laura. You have 300, but you can risk up to 500. Uh, you know what? Why don't I go with 300? All right. $300 at stake. On this clue, Liechtenstein's official language is this, with the people speaking an Alemannic dialect. Uh, what is Swiss? I don't know. No, you're <laughs> What is German? What oh, is German? Gosh. So you okay. and John are tied for the lead with no money. <laughs> <laughs> That'll change soon. We're going to take a break. We'll come back after this.
With the all-new Dodge Dakota, we offer a choice. A torquey Magnum 4 that is not the typical wimpy whiner. A serious high-output Magnum V6. And a real live Magnum V8. The only V8 in its class. Four, six, eight. Now who do you appreciate? The new Dodge Dakota. It's full of surprises. For good times and great oldies, it's the new My 102. One, two, three. <laughs> plays your favorite oldies. For a good time, dial 102 FM, the new My 102. Hey, Max, glad I caught you. You know what I just discovered at Pizza Hut? The perfect pizza. <laughs> not too thick, not too thin. Just like, uh, you know, uh, Pizzeria Pizza. Freshly baked every day. And here's the kicker. A ring of cheese baked right into the crust. Imagine. Why are you telling me? I'm a dog. I'm telling everyone. Discover Pizzeria Stuffed Crust Pizza. Now we've got your pizza. And the best part, Max, a large is only $8.99. Great, huh? Who offers the best selection, best price, and number one customer satisfaction? Ted Russell Nissan. Take advantage of these savings. Only $1.99 a month for a new 97 Altima GXE. Loaded with air, power windows, stereo cassette, and more. Get ready for winter with a new XC 4x4. Loaded, zero down, and just $2.19 a month. The one dealer with all the advantages. Ted Russell Nissan. One block west of Walker Springs on Kingston Pike. The most popular series on network television is the medical drama ER, and one of the stars of that series is with us today, Laura Innes, who plays Dr. Carrie Weaver, a character I have trouble figuring out. I don't know whether to like her or hate her. Tell me about Carrie Weaver. Well, you know, I, I think a lot of people have a little bit of a hard time with her. She's not exactly your, your warm and fuzzy TV doctor. Yeah, it's a far so cry from a bunny. Yeah, a little bit different. On wings. That's right. So Tell me about great. your charity, Laura. I am donating the money to LA Youth Network, which is a wonderful organization that uh, helps and shelters runaway teens. Good for you. Thank you for being with us today. John Mahoney has something in common with Laura in that both of you started your theater careers in Chicago. That's right. Yeah. Now, you are the third member of the Fraser Crane family to appear as a contestant mm -hmm. here, and I'm wondering if Kelsey or David gave you any tips on how to perform. Absolutely. Uh, David tried to, but I'm, it's not working. <laughs> oh, not yet. It's still very know, early I in know, the game. I know, yeah. Any secrets that he gave you, though? Um, to... Uh, he actually he said that I should laugh at the other contestants whenever they make a mistake and really <laughs> undermine oh. their confidence. Oh, the nasty, <laughs> the nasty approach. Yes, yes. All right, tell me about your charity, John. Uh, my charity is Bonaventure House, which is um, established uh, by the Alexian Brothers in Chicago, that takes care of homes uh, and um, uh, gives care to men and women with AIDS. Okay, good. Beverly Sills is with us today. She is chairman or chairperson of the Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts. You're one of the greatest coloratura sopranos ever. That's the high end, right? Yes, very high. Okay. I, th I imagine one of your jobs right now is to try and get people to be interested in opera. And it's not a question of just preaching to those who are already converted. It's trying to attract the hip hoppers. How do you do that? Is it tough? Yes, it is. One of my tasks is to try to get the educational system to uh, agree to teach the arts the same way they teach arithmetic and okay, spelling. Okay, I hope you'll be very successful in that. And on the program today, what charity are you playing for, Beverly? The Society for Multiple Sclerosis. We are hoping for a cure, so I'd like this money to go to research. All right, let's get back into this first round of play. We still have a lot of clues up there. And uh, Laura, did you make the selection, please? Um, let's see. Let's try the female of the species for 100, please. This name for a female sheep comes from a Latin word for sheep. John. What is you? Yes. A uh, female of the species for 200, please. We bet you a buck you know this is a female deer. Beverly? What is a doe? Doe is right. Um, I'm going to go back to Liechtenstein just for kicks for $500. All right. As its anthem says, Liechtenstein is on the bank of this maidenly river. 
Beverly? Yes. What is the Danube? No, sorry. John or Laura? Correct response. What is the Rhine? But Beverly, you pick again. Uh, female of the species for 300, please. If you be a female bee, you be one of these. Beverly. What is the queen? Queen, right. Um, female of the species for 400. Female moose, whales, and elephants are known by this bovine term. Laura. What is a cow? Yes. Female of the species for 500. A female red fox isn't a comedian, but one of these. Beverly. What is a vixen? Vixen, yes. You're back on the plus side and tied for the lead with Laura. Select. Um, celebrity astrology for 100. Many friendly, warm-hearted people like Carol Burnett and Jay Leno are born under this bullish sign. Laura. What is Taurus? Correct. Celebrity astrology for 200. Gomer Pyle was no genius, but this actor who played him is a Gemini, one of the most intelligent signs. Laura. Who is Jim Neighbors? Yes. Celebrity astrology for 300. This sign of the ram is the sign of action, so it's perfect for action star Steven Seagal. John. What is Aries? Aries, yes. Uh, celebrity astrology for 400. Dennis Miller is known for his stinging wit, so it's apropos that this is his sign. John. What is Scorpio? Correct. Uh, astrology for 500, please. Answer. Sign shared by William Powell and Myrna Loy, appropriately since they made those Thin Man films at MGM. John. What is Leo? Leo the Lion, right. Um, the elements for 100, please. Sad but true, all that glitters is not this element. John. What is gold? Right. Elements for 200. Oh, that does it for the first round. And John's in the lead with 1,400. Laura has half that amount, 700. Beverly on the plus side also with $400. You can start thinking about double jeopardy. We'll have a lot more money available for you after this commercial break. from sea to shining sea are honoring the men and women who risk their lives for freedom. In the midst of the celebration, some veterans are still fighting, but a different battle. We'll have a live report. Tonight, on Action 10 News, straight from the heart. Well, you treat me this way From dawn to dusk You take me a hundred thousand miles It's just not enough well, I'll go to this one, baby, I'll rise above, cause I know you're always gonna hurt the ones you love. The highly durable Tacoma 4x2, Toyota trucks always come through. How much butter does it take to make mouth-watering mashed potatoes? None. Use Swanson broth instead. Rich, golden Swanson chicken broth adds loads of flavor to recipes, and it's 99% fat-free. So put in Swanson broth and leave out butter for delicious mashed potatoes that are light, fluffy, and low in fat. Sorry, butter. There's always toast. Swanson broth, when all you want to add is flavor. Now is the time to drive more. The 97 Ford Explorer with a more powerful V6 engine. More power. An improved optional V8 offering full-time 4x4 traction control. More control. Standard dual airbags, four-wheel anti-lock brakes, and side door intrusion beams. More safety. Now drive the number one selling compact sport utility vehicle for just $2.99 a month for 24 months. That's $2.99 a month on Explorer at your local Ford dealer. Ford Explorer. One more reason to drive more. Next time on Action 10 News Today. East Tennesseans are dining out for life. We'll tell you why. Plus, David Moon's in with a look at your market view and Mark Johnson and your forecast. Tomorrow morning on Action 10 News Today. Welcome back, everyone. Let's see if we can find both daily doubles in this double jeopardy round of play. Here are the categories. We start off with the 19th century. Next we have annual events, famous women, Shakespeare, world capitals, and finally, business and industry. And once again, Beverly, you go first. I'll try famous women for 200, please. In 1996, this wife of the vice president published a visual diary, a collection of her photographs. Beverly. Who's Tippi Gore? Yes. Uh, for 400, please, famous women. This Sense and Sensibility star once wrote and starred in her own BBC comedy series. Beverly. Who is Emma Thompson? Right again. 
uh, famous women for 600. This diminutive psychologist is said to dole out sexual advice like good hot chicken soup. John? Who's Dr. Ruth? Dr. Ruth is right. Uh, famous women for 800, please. In 1983, she became the first American woman and the youngest American to travel into space. Beverly? Who is Sally Ryder? Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. John? Who is Sally Ride? Sally Ride. Yes, one consonant cost Beverly. Pick again, John. Uh, close out the category, please. Once a teacher of English as a second language, today she's New Jersey's governor. Laura? Who is uh, Christy Todd Whitman? Yes. I'm Shakespeare for 200, please. Shakespeare called this doomed duo a pair of star-crossed lovers. Laura? Who are Romeo and Juliet? Right. Shakespeare for 400, please. During the Restoration, it became popular for singers and dancers to play the witches in this tragedy. Laura? What is Macbeth? Yes. Shakespeare for 600, please. The last scene of Richard II is set in this famous royal castle west of London. It is set at Windsor Castle. Laura, go again. Shakespeare for 800, please. Mickey Rooney said he'd never read Shakespeare before or since he played Puck in a film version of this comedy. Laura? What is Midsummer Night's Dream? Right. Shakespeare for 1,000, please. Surprisingly, Shylock only appears in five of this play's scenes, and he's gone by the last act. Laura, again. What is The Merchant of Venice? You know your Shakespeare. Well done. You are in the lead with 4,100. <laughs> go again, Laura. Annual events for 200, please. Chester Greenwood Day in Farmington, Maine, honors the man said to have invented these ear coverings. John? What are earmuffs? Earmuffs, is it? Uh, annual events for 400, please. In June, Metropolis, Illinois, celebrates this comic book hero, complete with a capture of villains. Laura? Uh, who is Superman? Yes. Annual events for 600. Wright Brothers Day, December 17th, celebrates the pair's flight near this North Carolina village. Laura? What is Kitty Hawk? Yes. Uh, annual events for 800. Annual events in this southern city include the FedEx St. Jude's Golf Classic and Elvis International Tribute Week. Laura? What is Memphis? Memphis, yes. Annual events for 1,000. The whole enchilada fiesta is an October event in this New Mexico town whose name means the crosses. And the town is Las Cruces. Back to you, Laura. Uh, let's try the 19th century for 200. Delivered November 19th, 1863. It began four score and seven years ago. Our fathers, Beverly. What is the Gettysburg Address? That's it. $400 for the 19th century. Under the 1848 Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, this river became the boundary between Mexico and Texas. Beverly. What is the Rio Grande? Yes. Uh, 19th century for 600. This poet and essayist spent two years, two months, and two days living in a cabin at Walden Pond. John. Who's Thoreau? That's it. Uh, 19th century for 800. This pair of printmakers began their very lucrative partnership in 1857. Beverly. Uh, who are Currier and Ives? Yes. Uh, 19th century for 1,000. In 1854, more than one-third of a light brigade were killed or wounded during a battle in this war. It was the Crimean War. Beverly, pick again. World Capitals 200, please. When visiting this Portuguese capital, you can sample port wine at the Port Wine Institute. Beverly. What is Lisbon? That's it. Uh, World Capitals for 400. The answer there is one of the Daily Doubles. And here's a chance for you to move up, Beverly. Well, we have to make a lot of money, so I'm going to... And you've traveled all over the world. So uh, you should be familiar with world capitals. Well, but I never knew where I was most oh. of the time. <laughs> Let's try $1,000. All right, $1,000 on world capitals. Here is the clue for you alone. Ottawa, the capital of Canada, lies in the southeastern part of this province. Um, what is... Um, oh, this is... You know how many times I sang there? <laughs> Take a problem. Say Calgary. No, Calgary uh, what is a city. Is? What is Ontario? Oh, Ontario. God. That's all right. Pick again. We'll continue. World Capital 600. The Church of St. Francis in this Peruvian capital is noted for its eerie catacombs. Beverly? What is Lima? Yes. Uh, World Capitals for 800. You'll find the Kyongbok Palace at the foot of Mount Pugak in this South Korean capital. 
capital of South Korea is Seoul. Beverly, pick again. For a capitalist for a thousand. The Olive Uzanowski has been called the Champs Elysees of this Polish capital. John. What is Warsaw? Warsaw, and we have a minute to go to deal with business and industry. Uh, business and industry for 200, please. Colgate merged with this soap maker in 1928. Laura. What is Palmolive? Right. Business and industry for 400. Budget rent a car in Boston now rents these hogs at a rate of 50 to 60 dollars an hour. John. What are Harley Davidsons? Yes. Uh, business and industry for 600. The Green Giant works for this company with another jolly spokes figure, the Doughboy. John. What is Pillsbury? Yes. Business and industry for 800. The answer there is the other daily double. <laughs> the $500 off the lead, John. Business, business and industry, and you can risk any of your 5,600. I'll try 1,000, please. $1,000? Mm -hmm. All right, here comes the clue for you. This Seattle based coffee chain was named for the first mate in Moby Dick. John? What is Starbucks? Oh, okay. Starbucks. All right, our last clue for a thousand <laughs> will remain hidden, and we have Laura leading with 6,100, John at 4,600, and Beverly in third place right now with $1,400. Final Jeopardy to come. Remember, you're playing for your charities, so no das. Be audacious. Here is the Final Jeopardy category contestants French novelists. Think about that. Make your wages. We'll be back with a clue after this. Where the world's first agitator that cleans even big and tough loads with more care than any other washer. The new Maytag is a layup. With $100 in extra features at no extra cost, it's a slam dunk. Oh, well, I'm the kind of light for your holiday list. I'll help you in so many ways. I'd make the perfect gift because I'm the snake light from Black and Decker. I'll get around, around, around. I'm the snake light. For America. A total distraction that could lead to total destruction. A contagious new puzzle that's becoming an obsession. Honey, it's time to put the lights out. All you have to do is put all the lights out. Put all the lights out. Lights out! It looks so easy. It's not that easy. With thousands of different puzzles, it threatens to put the entire nation on the blink. It's Lights Out for America. Lights Out and new Deluxe Lights Out. Also available in CD-ROM. Before you color your hair... Up and think. What if you could protect your hair as you color? Now you can with Excellence Cream from L'Oreal, a nurturing cream rich in moisture. Excellence Cream protects your hair like no other. It doesn't drip and really covers gray. What I love is the color, the healthy feeling, like it's full of moisture. Excellence Cream, the protective cream colorant from L'Oreal. It's a cream. Think about it. It's no longer for the rich and famous. From looking good to feeling better about yourself, plastic surgery is giving more and more people a lift. On the Health Beat, Action 10's Robin Wilhoy reports on the cutting edge of plastic surgery, the newest techniques, who's having it done, plus ways you can get a sneak peek at the results. Watch Action 10's Health Beat report skin deep and find out more about today's plastic surgery. Tomorrow on Action 10 News, straight from the heart. Sometimes, no matter how much you vacuum, scrub, or try covering it up, you just can't hide old, worn-out carpet. Maybe it's time you paid a visit to GCO Carpet Outlet. GCO's Mill Direct Outlet prices on stain-resistant carpet and no-wax vinyl could save you hundreds of dollars. And put something extra nice under your tree this year. Parkside Drive at I-40 and Pellissippi Junction. Final Jeopardy category is French novelists. Our players will, as always, have 30 seconds to write down their responses in the form of a question, even though we have the new set. Here comes the clue for you. Ideas in his novels that have come true include space travel, television, and the submarine. Good luck.
time's up. Beverly, put the pen down and we'll start with you. You were giving this a lot of serious thought. What did you write down as your response? You Just, weren't I'm, able to come up with anything. That's too bad. Your wager was 1400 That takes you down to zero, but don't worry. Your charity is still going to get $10,000. Let's go to John Mahoney. He wrote his response down rather quickly, I thought. Was it the right one? Who is Jules Verne? It is indeed the correct response. And what did you do? You risked everything you had, and your 9200 will be augmented to 10000 also. Laura Innes was leading with 6100 Did she get Jules Verne? She did indeed, and I hope for her charity's sake she risked it all. And she did. 6100 doubling her score to 12200 She is the winner today. Congratulations to you, Laura. And thanks to you, to John and to Beverly for joining us on Celebrity Jeopardy. We're going to do it again tomorrow. Join us then. So long, everybody. Join us tomorrow for Celebrity Jeopardy with Melissa Gilbert, Isaac Petrahi, and Sandra Bernhardt. Some members of our studio audience will receive Epicin, a skin treatment that helps optimize your skin's natural elasticity, giving you smoother and younger-looking skin. Epicin, your own eyes will make you a believer. With Tiger's new electronic Jeopardy, you can test your knowledge with over 1,500 questions from America's most challenging quiz show, anytime, anyplace, anywhere. Devil Action Scalpicin helps you stop deep scalp itch and dandruff, not a shampoo, but a clear liquid you don't wash away. News from Eglin's Best, you can include eggs in your cholesterol-conscious diet, as long as you eat them in place of more fatty foods. Eglin's Best. Exercise with Iowa's Cross Trainer Headband Radio. Designed to endure the rigors of a workout. Adjustable headband, super bass, and safety reflectors. Call 1-800-BUY-IWA. The Libman Precision Angle Room. Dirt can't hide from it. You really wore out playing these games. She loves Candyland. I loved it too when I was her age. And shoots and ladders. Candyland shoots and ladders too. From Milton Bradley. I'm Kim Stevens. I'm Bill Williams. Coming up next on Action 10 News, Americans from coast to coast are honoring the men and women who risked their lives in the fight for freedom on foreign soil. In the midst of the celebration, millions of veterans are struggling to survive the night. We'll have a live report. And fans say if you build it, we will come. But can the city of Knoxville afford to pay the price? Those stories plus local police say hidden inside the brown bag is evidence of trouble. Next on Action 10 News. Straight from the heart, you're watching WBIR-TV, Channel 10, Knoxville. The news starts now.